Hi, the purpose of this demonstration is to show you the new quantity takeoff functionality in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010. In, uh, in 2010, we can apply pay items to AutoCAD and Civil 3D uh, entities. Um, we can then extract quantities uh, from those entities, and uh, based on those quantities, we can generate reports so that you can do your engineer estimates for your projects. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in action. So in the Analyze tab of uh, Civil 3D 2010, you will see a tool for Quantity Takeoff Manager. I'll go ahead and launch that. And this is where we can uh, access and modify our, uh, or not modify, but access uh, our pay item file. Civil 3D 2010 comes with some pre-built uh, pay item files that might be just fine to, um, to get you started. There's a uh, getting started uh, a file. We'll go ahead and take a look at some of the other uh, files available to us. In the United States, you'll notice that there's data available for AASHTO, Federal Highway, Florida DOT, and Wisconsin DOT. And we can definitely foresee more DOTs as they get on board with Civil 3D uh, having their own, uh, their own pay item files. So once we have the pay item file in place, we can uh, search for pay items and we can apply them to uh, objects in the drawing. So in this case, I am going to do a search for pavement markings. And once I do that, it will uh, it'll show me all the different pav pavement marking pavement marking pay items I have available to me. So then, what I would like to do next is in the drawing in the background, I have these yellow lines and arcs. These are pavement markings, and I'd like to apply apply a pay item to these pavement markings. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight these, and I'm going to do a uh, select similar, and then I'm going to go ahead and right click on this pay item here, type B solid payment marking, and I'm going to assign pay item. And once I do that, the pay item is applied to the payment marking. And if you take a look at uh, when I roll over one of the yellow lines, it will show you a rollover tip, and it will show you the payment marking for the yellow line. We'll repeat this exercise, but let's time, this time let's do it for uh, Civil 3D data. That time we just did it with AutoCAD entities. Let's, let's check out what we can do with Civil 3D data. So this time I am going to search for sewer. And I would like to apply the 6 inch sewer line plastic pay item to the 6 inch sewer lines in my drawing. So I can go ahead and click on one of those sewer lines. I can select similar and I'll right click on this pay item and I will assign the pay item to the sewer entities in the drawing. And once I do that again, if you take a look at the rollover tip, it shows the six inch sewer line uh, pay item listed, uh, listed right here. Pay items can also be applied to pipe network parts lists and code set styles for corridors. So you may, inside your template, you want to apply some pay items uh, before anybody even begins the project so that any sewers they make, any storm drains they make, any corridors they make will automatically have those pay items in them. Let's take a look at that. So if I right click on the storm sewer parts list here, in this drawing and go to edit. You will see for my 18 inch RCP we now have a column for pay item. So again we can apply pay items to these, uh, to these, these parts whether they be uh, structures or uh, pipes. And again we can click on the plus symbol and go grab the pay item from uh, the pay item list that you see here. We can do the same for code set styles to be used with corridors. Corridors are made up of uh, assemblies and sub-assemblies. Those sub-assemblies might be, for example, a curb and gutter structure. Well, that's a pay item uh, that we would like to get a cost on per lineal foot. So it makes sense that there be pay items associated to it. So if I right click on all codes and edit, 
you'll see for my curb um, link right here there is a pay, pay item associated to it okay so similar concept this new pay item column for the code set style is, is what I want you to uh, want you to take home all right finally once the all the pay items are applied to the civil 3d and AutoCAD objects in the drawing we can do a takeoff report and it went through and scanned all the objects in the drawing that have pay items associated to it and it gives me a nice list of those pay items and here's the uh, summary takeoff report which we can display in HTML, CSV, TXT such that we can then uh, then bring it into a, a spreadsheet if we want we can click on draw and we can pop it into the drawing as well okay so that concludes the demonstration of the new quantity takeoff functionality in Civil 3D 2010. So again, we can apply pay items to both AutoCAD and Civil 3D objects. We can then extract the quantities and generate uh, quantity takeoff summary reports. Thank you.